This 7382 was one of only two new revamped Centaura combines brought over to the UK for 2014, with full availability in 2015. The largest conventional combine built by MF Updates over the previous models include new engines, a new cab and larger grain tanks. The combine's threshing drum and rear beater are followed by an additional rotary separator. The Centauras are the only combines on the market with eight straw walkers claimed by MF to increase agitation of the straw mat by a third compared to six walker systems. Maximum horsepower is 404 from an 8.4 litre Agco power engine. Grain tank capacity is 10,500 litres on auto-level models like this one. It's emptied at a rate of 120 litres per second. Good afternoon, here we are again, uh, 5th of August, um, we're in the um, Santiago winter wheat today, um, we, pop, we finished the spring, spring barley off, the second field of spring barley um, done about 7.2 tonnes a hectare, um, so I suspect we average somewhere in the region of sort of 7.4, 7.5 tonnes a hectare of spring barley, um, which is quite pleasing really, considering the dry start that the, that the spring barley had. Uh, we managed to get blown down yesterday, got into a 17 hectare block of uh, Santiago, finished out about half past 11 last night. Um, come in this morning and weighed the last load, that field actually done 11 tonnes a hectare, um, which oh, I'm a little bit disappointed with, which <laughs> I know I didn't ought to be, but I am really. The, San the um, JB Diego's sort of probably average 11 2, 11 3, and I thought that the um, first wheat Santiago was going to perhaps out yield that, but that's the first field, so we better be sort of quite pleased with what we got there. So we're in another 100 acre block of um, Santiago here now. Um, I think this is probably yielding a little bit better, but until we get it finished and over the Weybridge, a bit of a job to say, really. So we're about three quarters of the way through harvest now. Um, it's probably just time just for a word about the, the new Massey Ferguson Combine this year. Um, this is our ninth Massey Combine we've had. We started off, we had a couple of um, 40 RSs. Uh, the main reason that we went to um, Massey Ferguson uh, in the first place was they were the only manufacturer that were doing a, an auto level combine which is a, a combine which keeps the actual whole chassis level whilst, whilst you're combining. Um, as you can appreciate where we're farming around here, um, there's quite some steep slopes. 
and there's quite a lot of benefits from running um, the actual whole combine level. Um, the main benefit really is just the is, is the losses because we um, if we um, if if we run the combine a standard combine on these sort of slopes, all the grain runs to one side of the sieves, and uh, you get a lot of grain loss at the back. But by keeping the whole combine level, um, we keep the, the grain loss down to an absolute minimum. Um, so yeah, so we had a couple of 40 RSs, um, and then we moved on. We actually had a prototype here called the U52. Um, we we ran that for a season. That wasn't exactly a, um, a roaring success. So we went from that. We moved on to another 40 RS. Um, that was a really good machine, actually done done really really well. We kept that for three or four seasons. Um, then we moved on to a Syria. We had the first uh, 72, 74 Syria with eight straw walkers in. Um, that was a prototype. That went very very well. I think we had two more series after that. The, um, the last cereal that we actually had went to a next door neighbour. Um, he bought that off, off us. He was very, very pleased with it. Um, he was a Massey owner before that, um, so he's very, very pleased with that. Uh, then when we left the Syria range, that we moved on to the, the Centaur. Um, our last Centaur we had has been has gone up to um, Attleboro, um, so there's not a million miles away. So um, on to the machine we've got currently. I think probably. It's a little bit down on power of a troop, you know, and I'm really struggling in some of these wheats. We've changed the chopper blades, um, so we've got some nice sharp chopper blades, um, but we're, we're really struggling for horsepower this year, really. But whether it's um, the green straw, um, I don't really know, but we seem to be struggling. We've got a few little uh, electronic gremlins as well, which needs to be sorted out before too long. So I think mechanically the combine is sound, the cab is nice, everything's great on it. Um, but we've certainly got a few gremlins that need to be sorted out on the machine. Um, so I think all in all, as far as sort of Massey heritage goes, um, probably a little bit disappointed with this one, if the truth be known, but um, time will tell whether it will improve. Um, so, um, so all in all, that's our heritage of Massey Ferguson combines over the years. Um, we've had some good, we've had some bad, some would say we had some ugly, um, but um, all in all, they've been good to us. As Stephen mentioned, the auto-level system keeps the whole combined body horizontal when harvesting on side hills of up to 12% and works by rotating the final drives. This combine was specified with optional 800mm wide Michelin Serex bib front tyres, four-wheel drive and larger rear tyres for increased traction on the slopes and minimised ground compaction. Four Seasons of Farming. Available now from Anglian Agri-Media.